This is an eastern indigo snake. The eastern indigo snake's scientific name is Drymarkon, which roughly translates to Lord of the Forest. Being the largest native snake in North America and at the top of their food chain, the name Lord of the Forest is quite fitting. When there is a healthy population of eastern indigo snakes, the entire ecosystem benefits from increased biodiversity and an environment that runs smoothly and efficiently. Unfortunately, the eastern indigo snake has suffered from severe habitat loss and is currently listed as a federally threatened species in Georgia and Florida and listed as possibly extirpated in Alabama. The loss of the eastern indigo snake from Alabama and other areas is the loss of biodiversity and health of the forest. The Association of Zoos and Aquariums, also known as the AZA, are working collaboratively with federal and state partners in Florida and Alabama to breed and reintroduce eastern indigo snakes back into their natural habitat. Between 2010 and 2019, 169 eastern indigo snakes have been released in southern Alabama, and over 80 eastern indigo snakes have been released into northern Florida. However, just reintroducing animals into a place they once lived isn't going to work if they no longer have suitable habitat because of deforestation and fragmentation. Local, state, and federal organizations are helping by restoring and protecting critical habitat spaces of the eastern indigo snake. Their habitat needs change seasonally, which means maintaining the spaces that connect the different habitats is critical. From the spring into fall, snakes must be able to travel from sand hill communities and upland longleaf pine forests to creek bottoms and fields. By restoring and protecting the critical habitats of the eastern indigo snake, we are ensuring that their reintroductions will be successful. The two eastern indigo snakes that live here at the Detroit Zoo are part of the Species Survival Plan, or SSP. The SSP is a collaboration between zoos designed to maintain a healthy, genetically diverse, and stable population for the future. The two individuals that live here may breed and lay eggs, and then their offspring may enter the reintroduction program by breeding and having their own offspring reintroduced to their native homes. The reintroduction efforts for the eastern indigo snake are only the beginning of building a healthy, sustainable population. The collaboration between different organizations and AZA zoos and aquariums are helping to create a once again thriving eastern indigo snake population who will continue to play a critical role in our ecosystem. When you visit or donate to the Detroit Zoological Society, you are helping to support conservation projects like this one. Thank you for celebrating and saving wildlife and wild places.